guys, what's up? It's your girl Jazz, and welcome back to another vlog with me. Today is Monday. It is 3.13 in the afternoon. And to be honest with y'all, I just woke up maybe an hour ago. I got up, took a shower, did my Fenty skin, which in the last vlog, one of you guys mentioned if I could do a review. The only thing I have right now to say, because I just started it, like, Wednesday. Thursday. I just started it Thursday, so I can't really give an accurate review. But the one good thing I can say about it already is that it smells so, so good. But I know Hiram, if you guys don't know him here on YouTube, he's like the makeup god. Um, not makeup, skincare. Sorry, skincare god. Like he knows and he's very informative about skincare. And he says anything that smells good isn't really the best, but it smells good and it feels like an experience when I put it on my face. But I wanted to show you guys really quick just some quick changes that I made to this jacket. You guys already know from our last vlog. I've been struggling with this and I want to say I appreciate all of you guys' feedback. A lot of you guys said, um, that moving forward I should only kind of put like a limit on it like maybe they can only send me but so many items or they can send me whatever and then I just tell them and give a disclaimer that you know I'm not gonna be able to use everything like I told you guys before every week is a new discovery a learning curve journey so on and so forth so one thing um, that I did take from one of you guys one of you guys were saying like girl I'm not feeling that knitted on the arm and looking at the jacket for a period of time I'm like okay yeah I think that's what's kind of messing me up that I have writing on one arm and the other arm is like saturated with fabric where I can't really see any writing which I want to kind of have at least something on that side so here we go last night I did a thing <laughs> and I cut off a piece of some of that knittedness that was on the arm before I'm going to either one use some of this bandana material to try to like cover up where I cut it and then do writing or I don't really know yet I don't really have a plan um, but I do have some things in my trunk which I'll show you guys when we go outside to go walk bond that I want to see if I could implement it on this jacket, I definitely already knew I wanted to implement it on this one, so I just might as well bring it in the house. It's purses that I was gonna get rid of and sell to either Plato's Closet, and if Plato's Closet didn't take it, I was just gonna take it to Goodwill. But Mama Steph um, said, girl, this is fabric, okay? And this is stuff that you can use on the jacket, and you need to keep it, so I'm gonna show you guys what that is. But also what I did differently is I added in more colors I just felt like you know with the butterflies adding in so much color that it's only right that I add color elsewhere however um, the colors that she wanted prominent are purple and pink I went ahead and did some yellow streaks which is gonna have writing written inside of them so everywhere where I want writing to be prominent I did do like a yellow streak um, and then like I said, I still have writing to do on this side, so hopefully it'll kind of bring it all together. And then we'll see about this arm. And I was thinking of maybe even putting this knitted piece somewhere on the back, but once again, I don't really know. Hopefully in about three, four days, we can um, finish and wrap up this jacket. And hopefully then we will have a story and a testimony that this jacket has been a struggle however we pulled it together made it look like something and bam there we go but yeah so let's go walk bond because he has been waiting for me patiently look at him yeah come on all right And today's shirt is rocking that Eclectista. Own your Nista. You can order one of these shirts from Mama Steph from her Instagram page. He be thinking he's walking me, I swear. And you guys should already know we're about to take a trip to Dunkin', even though it's like three something in the afternoon. I just love the taste. I don't know. I love it. I'm addicted. And then um, get started on brainstorming and watching Brett Michaels. Now I'm watching Brett Michaels' Love of Rock. I don't know if anybody else was watching it back in the day. Uh oh, this dog. 
He's just peeing, brother. All right. So, I don't know if anyone else back in the day used to watch, like, I used to watch all of the love of, the uh, loves. Um, but when Flavor of Love was popping, then I Love New York was popping. I was one of the ones that stuck around, and I was watching Brett Michaels' Rock of Love. And then after that, I watched Daisy of Love. Like, I love all of them. I don't know. They're just so funny to me, especially because I watched this podcast on YouTube where basically they're, like, exposing the shows. And they're, um, spilling the tea on, like, how they were fake. They're, they're not really real. Um, a lot of what place and happened was real but like the characters that were played like New York's persona, Hottie's persona, uh what I was gonna say just like how it was all just kind of set up and like how the producers were the ones who were like really running the shows so I like to go back and watch it from a different perspective knowing like this shit is fake as hell and then they're kind of confirming like reality tv today it's scripted on a whole nother level so come on Ugh. All right, so let me show you what you guys what I have in my trunk really fast before we get in the car. Okay. Dang, I don't open my trunk ever. Okay. So this is my trunk. Hi. Welcome to the back of my trunk. Okay. So yeah, I got a, a seat back here, a little chair, and one of Bond's toys. Bond, how do your toy get back here? Anyways, this is the material that I want to use. A Louis Vuitton. My mom is telling me I need to use this on her jacket first, but knowing I have it, I want to use it. So I got two full bags, and this one is a big bag. So this is a lot of fabric. So I'm like, oh, this would be fire. So I have those two. This material. Leather. If anybody wants leather, there's some leather material snake print I mean it won't be like a big material but and then maybe like red leather somewhere this orange like snake print and then she was telling me to keep this because that's my vibe so we're just gonna bring this all inside of my car let's put you in the car first move move I do not want to hit your head I'm gonna sit Get on this side. No, this side. Get back over here. We're gonna put his shit on the floor, unfortunately. Gotta make sure we keep these windows down. The one thing I wish our neighborhood had was like trash cans out here because this shit literally fucking stinks, bro. I mean, a shit though, right? <laughs> Ready for the car ride? <laughs> he is the cutest when I'm driving, but I hold his leash. He be um having the time of his life, don't you? You be having the time of your life, huh? Tomorrow I'm gonna be making a post office run. I have some jackets being sent, some items being sent to me um, for another jacket. So we'll make a big post office run once I know all of it's here. So I have to be keep running like back and forth. <laughs> Isn't it the cutest? <laughs> I know you guys are gonna be like, Jazz, get Bond a car seat. I know, I know, I don't have one for my car. Only my mom has one for hers. I need to order one though. I always wonder though, why do dogs like to do that? Look at him, you bet not. Get back over there. Get, get, get your butt back over there, sit down. Sit on the booty. Sit on the booty. Lay down, put your arms down. Put your arms down. <laughs> you, you crack me up, I can't. Come up out the cracks and try to tell me how to get it poppin' really
Way too motherfucking educated to be spending any time just talking with me Many people waiting on me in the lobby, time to board a bus and get it in Hundred thousand dollar conversation with investors telling me they want it in Those the women from a runaway, always call me when they get a jam Used to give them all the time of day, now they're scrolling through my Instagram Wishing that they did accommodate I ain't even feel they need to grin Never been the type to hold a grudge I don't even love them, they ain't getting in Why are we talking? Tell me something that I don't know I'm Tired of bullshit and People seem to have a ball load Don't you see I got the fam here? These are people that been rocking with me Don't you ever come up out the cracks And try to tell me how to get it poppin' Really probably pop a wheelie, you just pop his in No sir, that ain't proper with me Rather pop a band than a pop a cap If you ever did my people wrong and did me dirty You can be assured I'm not your friend What's up you guys so it's currently now 2 34 in the morning okay and i'm coming to a stopping point and i think i'm loving where it's going in the direction that we're going so this is where we are now a lot more colorful a lot more cohesive i feel like i told you guys already i was gonna rip off that piece on this side we did that I instead added some Louis material where I'm gonna put her full name, first, middle, and last name here on the back. It's going to be Louis there. We got our bandana there. Um, I decided to color in the cross, color in the Mac to once again, just bring in that color story. I think I showed you guys this already, but if not, we have the Louis lock here with the red bottom and then on this arm we'll have that knitted piece so it's kind of like balanced in front and back with the knitted there the knitted here we'll once again have a louis strip there and then we'll have the remainder of that chain piece once again i don't know if this is going to be all set in stone but this is just my idea um falling from there and then we'll have a louis peak there so i'm loving where it's going with so far i was also thinking of doing like a train of a tutu in the back really small um of purple and pink just to kind of add in that extra element of i guess whimsical because women's cool seems to have like that tutu material and then her birthday is april the 11th so i was thinking of sewing this here on the inside like if we spread out the arm maybe we can have that here but I don't know I just have it placed there just in case I decide to go with that but this is where we are you guys and I think I'm loving it I'm vibing with it now a lot better so tell me what you guys are thinking you guys have expressed to me that you want to see like my breaks and how I go about taking breaks when i'm not working on jackets and honestly to be so real with you guys i don't take breaks um the most time i take a break is to eat <laughs> um, because i'm just trying to get through this kind of like threshold to where i don't feel guilty for not working per se um so i haven't really found honestly that balance and i know i need to because i have a lot of times where i, I do feel burnt out because I'm working a part of my brain consistently, even when I'm sleeping, I'm thinking about jackets, okay? There comes a point where there's a time to stop and that time is now. So let me throw away all these water bottles. My glass, my dishwasher. You guys can see, ew, iPad, gosh. We finally ran out of the scotch tape, which means going back to the blue tape, because I liked it. And dishwasher. Time to wash her face now. I need to finish my Brett Michaels though because I didn't finish the season I was on or the episode I think I was on episode where there was four more of them left and I don't remember who he chose for season two so I don't really want to check that out on my iPad.
favorite part of the day is when the bra gets to say bye bye. Adios amigos. Hey guys, what's up? So today is Thursday. Is today Thursday? Hold on. Yeah, today is Thursday, September 3rd. It's 10.52 p.m. We have officially finished this jacket that y'all know has been driving me insane. And now I'm here to show you guys the final product. Here it is. Dun, 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 dun. So this literally looks like a whole piece of freaking art, if you ask me okay almost every crevice has something written on it this is what we went with, went with with the back i purposely like broke up the letters too if you see that on purpose if you see that i did it on purpose we have the number 11 to represent the day of her birthday like i told you born in new orleans um and then the part that i was most excited about adding was this tutu part down at the bottom which is that aha moment for her and then just for the jacket overall just kind of brings it all together once again i don't really know what to call this theme it's just colorful and art to me that's all i know what to call it or say what it is but i sent her photos of the final product and she absolutely loves it which makes me happy because we guys, as you guys know, this has been a journey. So I just finished steaming it. I'm going to take pictures of it tomorrow upstairs, my typical spot. And then we already over here have jacket number. I think this would be jacket number eight or nine. Ready? Got our mock-up. Got our supplies. We don't really need much. This one won't be as time consuming. So I figured tonight maybe I can do my patchwork, like sew down my patches that I need because that's kind of like the most tedious part, honestly, when it comes to these jackets because I don't have a sewing machine. Um, and then we'll just take it from there. And then after that, we have our next one here. I went ahead and bought the die for the bottom part. Um, maybe I can do that tomorrow. Cause this is the one that's dip dyed if you guys remember where i lightened the top and i lightened the bottom and then our mock-up for what that one look like and so on and so forth so i am extremely exhausted i'm very tired my brain is fried however things gotta get done and i need to get these jackets out to y'all as quick as i possibly can and i don't feel like i have a moment to really sit back and relax and not think about them Tryna take it, I said no way Thought this ain't a game, nah, I don't play You can tell my fan that I'm okay I just got a juice like I'm OJ They been trying to take it, I said no way Thought this ain't a game, nah, I don't play You can tell my fan that I'm okay I just got a juice like I'm OJ Okay, damn God, what it take to win? Tyson for my guys, no lie, feel like Jordan on the mic, alright, I do better all alone, yeah. 
Dog, you owe me, better pay up what you owe, yeah Doing fine, but I keep that on the low, yeah If they want me, need a couple for the show, yeah If they hit my phone if you like what you've seen so far, why don't you just go ahead and hit subscribe, girl? Go ahead and take two seconds. Subscribe, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe. I promise you, you won't regret it. Saturday where we last left off was I was taking photos over there of the jacket the jacket has been sent out um not yesterday because yesterday was Friday Thursday yeah it was sent out Thursday um she absolutely loved the jacket she will get it on Tuesday they said um right now I'm getting ready to do my face I've been using my Fenty Beauty and so far I mean I like it like I said before it just smells so 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 good and um I just want to do my face because I haven't done it in a while plus I figured today I can run some quick little errands and go out and buy some things that I need bam 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 the errands today include running to Walmart I need to go grab this stuff that's called 77 adhesive which is basically whenever you're doing any type of type of stencil spray work it helps to keep the stencils for one down in place so they're not lifting and two it just makes the process a whole lot easier because for me with stencil work i sit there and physically hold down each stencil and trace and i'm like i know there has to be an easier an easier way out there so I came across this guy's YouTube video where he showed his trick and he used that stuff, 77 adhesive spray. But what he did was he went to the Dollar Tree, he bought like a poster board, he traced out all the stencils on there. And then um, he also had enough, he had two of them. So he had one where he traced out all the letters so he can kind of like trash that so he doesn't lose the letters. Cause sometimes with the stencils, you, you lose a letter that you need. So that way all the letters are all in one place then he had a second one where he actually like wrote out the word so let's say somebody wanted the word glamour which is something in my case that i need um i would trace out the word glamour on the other cardboard poster i would then cut out a box with the word now all together glamour i would spray the adhesive i would stick the adhesive down do my spray painting bam now i forever have the word glamour if anybody else wanted to use that word and two glamour is like saturated in the way that it should it should be i also want to go ahead and go out and buy like regular spray paint today just to see like what that tactic looks like because regular spray paint is a little bit cheaper than fabric spray paint as well as regular spray paint is more um pigmented than fabric spray paint but then again regular spray paint is a more stiff so i just want to try it out and see if it works we may move forward with that more so than the fabric spray paint just because um spray paint comes in more colors than the fabric spray paint can offer me and i could buy that in bulk a lot easier then we need to go to sally's because I'm over my hair okay I'm over it I decided that I want to kind of grow my top out it is kind of like flat because I had on my do-rag so this is I'm trying to like lift it so you guys can see but yeah that's what it's looking like so I figured I go to Sally's because no beauty supply store seems to sell manic panic anymore and I know Sally's does and I want to go red because we're going into fall I haven't done red in I don't know a long time so I figured we can go there and then I just need to buy some bleach because I want to start with my do-rags remember I told you guys I want to customize my do-rags I'm having one right now that I'm sampling 
um so i can see what that looks like maybe i can give you guys a peek of that as well but we'll see hopefully you guys can see us okay but mama steph is on the ride for today's journey i gave her the rundown of everywhere that i needed to go and she got dressed pretty fast in like 30 minutes i said 30 less, minutes girl less, less. okay she was cleaning the bathroom child yeah, i was cleaning the dressed. bathroom she was doing that so the first stop we're gonna go to is sally's Bleach. One more time. One more time. Manic panic bleach though. Yes. Okay, so here we are. You normally used to get vampire red, right? No bleach kit though. They don't sell that anymore, I guess. That's the only one I would try again. Yeah. If it's not here, I don't think it's here. Get some 30 minute bleach. I'm scared. <laughs> I'll stick with what you already got. It's lightened already. We're not using the color remover. Take the colors you have in your hair out. But it don't even matter. Because they're going to be different shades. Uh, I think I'm going to just buy a box dye from the store. Call it a day. Yeah. Um, dark and lovely. But those are our dark colors. Yeah. Oh, I got one at home. Okay. I got two. Okay. We're in Dollar Tree now, and this is what I was talking about. You cut it out on stuff like this. I'll get three for now. Oh, two, four, oh, I can get four. I know, this is what he was using. It wasn't thin, it was thick. It, it wasn't this. It was thick. Um, I'm trying to think. All right, you guys. So we are back at the crib. You guys are kind of like my um my footage if something happened to me because I have to park away from the house. You guys know I gave up my parking spot for me to have that workstation. So I'm getting ready to walk back to the, his house. I just dropped my stuff off. I got everything that I needed. <laughs> This was my OOTD, if you guys can see. White sneaks. T that says, I like my hair short. Maybe I turn this way, you can see it better. There you go. <sighs> okay, we made it. I gotta pee real quick. Give me a second. Hey, Bon. Hey, Bon. Hey. 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 Okay, so the things that I bought include these whiteboards. And these will pretty much be used as, you see how I have this laid out on the jacket, the little stencils? I can trace the stencil on the board and then from the board, cut out the piece that I need. And then from there, use the adhesive, which I'm going to show you guys what that looks like in a moment. This is what the spray looks like. It looks like this. And you spray it, push down, it's not going to move. I also bought a trash can because I've been needing one of those when I'm out here. And then... I bought um, jogger sets because I have some of you guys that have purchased some. So I went ahead and bought the matching sets so I can go ahead and jazz that up. I also bought one for myself as a test run because someone wants like an airbrush effect. And before I do it, I want to make sure I can do it. Um, this was mine. And then I also bought me some PJs today because we're doing a Women Who Wine Pajama Fest because my mom's birthday is on Monday. You guys can see what I got her for her birthday. It's in the mail. It'll be shipped out here. But I bought me this silky pajama set. For tonight for when we're on live 
And then I also bought this really freaking cute denim jacket. This is a so cute. Let me show you what's so cute about it. Is this my size? Hold on. This is my mom's. No, this is hers. Because I'm like, that feels small. This one is mine. It has like the puff shoulders. It's so cute. Oh my God. And I'm like, this would be really cute to customize as well, like for myself. So I can have like something else. But the aha moment for this would be the puff sleeves. And it looks like that. Like, oh, how cute. How cute is that? This is so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. So this is for me as well. And the pajamas. So I'm going to go ahead and start to hang up all of this stuff. I did receive stuff from you guys who sent things in the mail um, for your jacket, like your accessories and your jackets. I got two jackets in this week. So I did receive all of that. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and sort this stuff up. It's going to look like that. Yes, cute. And then really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys my skin up close so you guys can see how it's doing with makeup on. Because I feel like with makeup, you can see like where I have pimples and where I don't. So, so we're not looking too bad. I do feel like I see a difference with the Fenty skin. But I don't know if it's all in my head because I want to see a difference. But I feel like my dark spots are appearing lighter, okay? And I think it has to do with this fat, ooh, excuse me, fat water. I love the way it feels, the way it smells. Like I told you guys before, the main thing with uh, Fenty skin is that it smells really, really, really good. So, we're going to switch our ensemble up real quick for the one time. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. I also bought my dye. This is the color we're going for, Vampire Red. I'm not even about to open it because that's a stain. I'm also going to try this on for you guys so you guys can get an idea of what the sweatsuit will look like before it's um, customized. Because I know I'm all about visuals. I need to see it to visualize it. I mean, I know you guys know what a sweatsuit looks like, but so you guys can see the ones that I'm going to be customizing. So, the rocking the cozy vibes. I got camel toe. The rocking the cozy vibes. Can you dig the vibes? New York Yankees vibes with the Air Forces. This gives me like headed to the movies on a Saturday night. And here are the PJs in full form. Cute, cute, cute. And to top it off, we're going to put on a wig. Oh, woman who I Let me show you guys what I'm drinking. So I don't know which one I'm going to drink yet, but these are the two that I bought today. This one is called Happy Dogs. I have never tried it before, but I liked it for the picture, and I like what it says, and I really like dogs. And this one has... 13.5% alcohol content and it's a rosé. This one is called Berry Red Cranberry. It looks like this. I bought it because I love cranberry juice um, and that there was no other reason. And it has 11.5% alcohol. So I think I might go with the one that has the higher dosage tonight just because why not? You guys, so you're getting behind the scene footage of uh what is this women who wine look at bond okay. <laughs> he said yeah i'm gonna be in on it too okay remove me too yeah. so you can see how it is she can see how it is okay. so mommy you ain't do it right <laughs>
Hey guys, what's up? So today is Sunday. It is 3.13 p.m. I am watching Sister Sister living my best, ooh, living my best little life, okay? I used to watch this all the time. This literally takes me right back. Before going to school, I would watch Sister Sister. I think it would be Sister Sister first, and then Saved by the Bell would come on right afterwards. And I would watch it while I get dressed, so this is just like taking me back to that time. But um, I wanted to come on here really quick and just close out this vlog. We have come to the end, you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Um, this week has definitely been a little bit better. I think the way that the week is ending is how I want to do it moving forward. So before, I did not have a schedule. Um, I was just doing whatever um but i think now that i feel like i'm gonna have for one my sleeping pattern back together and i haven't worked on the jacket yesterday which was saturday or today which is sunday i'm gonna give myself the weekends off and then monday through friday make that straight dedication to the jackets make friday my day to go do um pick up from the post office and make saturday be the day where i go out and like buy supplies that way i'm kind of like just not all over the place and then um we'll take it from there so i'm definitely starting to get a little bit of cabin fever i will say because you guys know i'm working from home i'm home all the time now and i'm kind of reaching to that space where i want to get out and i want to do something so i may link up with somebody um in philly or i don't know go on a quarantine date or something like i just i feel like i need to get out okay i would say like my biggest struggle because you guys know we're coming up on a month almost and time really is flying come september 10th will be a full month that i have been not working for nobody but me myself and i so um oh i just lost my train of thought damn it i hate when that happens why, why was i saying something about a month Maybe I say something like just because I, I've been in the house and I don't. Oh, that's what I was going to say. My biggest um, downfall or struggle is having interaction. I don't have interaction as much as I used to before. Um, and I'm kind of like missing that interaction and I feel just kind of like depressed about that. Like I had a breakdown this week with my mom. Um, like I'm a stuffer by nature. Like. Anything that bothers me, I try to just, like, bottle it up and stuff it and just try to forget about it. I never really talk my issues out with anyone. I have a real big trust issue either, like, with talking about, like, my deepest insecurities or, like, things that bother me just because I always try not to be someone to, like, be a burden to others. And I believe in energy transfer and I don't want, because I'm having, like, all this negativity in my mind that I transfer it over to someone else hence is why I when I'm in a bad mood I distance myself because it's my way of trying to protect the other person's energy and just somber in my own thoughts so I really struggle with like having an outlet because I don't want to be like a burden once again to anyone so I don't even remember what day it was but it just it all came out at once as boo crying I feel a lot better now though now that you know I got to talk about it with my mom um and yeah so i just i gotta get out you guys i need the sun i need i just need to be out okay so hopefully next week we'll get that time to just get out stretch our legs relax our brain um and take it day by day you know that's all i can do is take it day by day and I'm really excited to do our stencil work that we have planned tomorrow. We'll do that tomorrow. Well, I don't know. Tomorrow's my mom's birthday. Um, so we'll see about that. If not tomorrow, definitely Tuesday. And we will go from there. So once again, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I hope everyone has a great Labor Day weekend. And I look forward to catching up with you guys next weekend. Also, remember that we're running a giveaway on Jazz Originals, so if you guys want to copy yourself a Jazz Original custom jacket for the free, all you have to do is follow me on my social media personal account, eClickMista Jr., follow Jazz Original, tag three friends, and repost it to your story. You're in. There's no limit on the amount of entries that you can enter. All you have to do is make sure you're tagging three different people, and that's it. I don't think I have anything else to say to you guys, so... um. Yeah, once again, thank you, thank you, thank you, and I'll see you guys next weekend. Peace out.